Lion City, represent Buddha Melayu. Gelang, you know what it is, man. <laughs> when I saw the whole idea of Numbers Brothers, I knew that something was going to happen. There has been rumors that those who got on the show has been signed to major labels. We knew that something crazy was going to happen because what Joe was trying to do, I mean not trying to do that, like, what he did was kind of neutralizing everybody. Mm. He was putting everybody on the same platform. Yeah. It's either you dope different or not. Groups, different, yeah. different, you know, rappers from this this uh, this part of the world, this, this part of the country, put them all on the same show. And he made sure that everybody was unprepared. So he just gave them beats and, oh, you can rap, you rap. It's yeah. like shining the light on everybody the same way and everybody feels like, oh, we're all the same, you know? Yeah, that so is such a crazy <clears throat> thing. I uploaded it to the number of It got a little bit of traction. Joe replied, Sona uh, replied, and then liked it. Lost my mind. I was, oh, I was crying. <laughs> I was crying. I was crying, okay, whatever. Cry baby, whatever, man. Dude, really yeah, it really means a lot really to me. Cried. It really, really means a lot to me. I saw it and I couldn't take it. I, just, I, I showed it to him in the middle of the night. I was so jealous, yeah. Bro. I was then like, I was like, hey, bro, what are you doing? Get on the show as well. But I asked him to be in my house because. If we want to do this, we gotta do this right. We saw attraction. We we saw a trend. Because before this numbers bar thing blew up, the, the the video, I had a couple of videos, home videos that kind of blew up too on Twitter. And they all had the same background and the same yeah. background. So we saw a trend, and then I wanted to introduce him to my following, so that mm. they know they know that we're friends, right? So I brought him into the picture and I asked him to rap my house and then I was like featured or cameo inside the <laughs> numbers by his video. Mm. I think about a month later, mm. Joe, uh, we got an email from, yeah. from Joe's manager, oh. Sophie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yanni's manager actually. Mm. Sophie, then we oh congratulations, blah 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 blah. You're we like <coughs> Yep. Yeah. Lost of minds. Told everyone, told I told my future grandson, I told everyone. I told everybody. Like we made sure everybody knew it. Yeah, like, set in stone, everything. Yeah. yeah, you know? My mom doesn't even know yeah. like rap, anything about rap. But I made sure she knew who Joe Flizzo is and like, oh, what yeah. this is, what 16 bars is. When we had to go like that Friday, right? So we had to go. I had to uh, host a show at Club 36 like that Friday night. So they had to make like special arrangements. I had to catch my flight right after. Oh, was, this is a crazy story, bro. Yeah, this, this is, is a crazy this is actually story. a crazy story. So numbers bars, uh, when we went there, it was the, the, the time was so uh, just it was just right. Uh. We were actually supposed to be on the second season. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Not that's what sure. we understood, lah. Like. Not too sure. About Not that. too sure, but that's what we understood at the time. And mm. then uh, they got pulled out, or they pulled out, and then um, we got on the show. But they, uh, Joe only told us like two days before, two or three days. Two before. or three days before. Like, Yo, okay, can the boys come? At this time, at the, on this day, and we were like, which is a Friday at the end of the week. Can and we are like, how do we, can. how do we do this, <laughs> man? Like we just then you know, like because when you when when you're given bars, when you're given a beat, your rhyme schemes are different. Usually it's a 80, 90 BPM, like like very boom bap style. I wrote to 80, 90 BPM, thinking yeah. I was getting that beat. But then I got 120 BPM, which is a half time, and it was so weird. I didn't know what to do, and he had to like I had to rewrite, rewrite everything in two days and memorize it. And I was in the shower, I was I was rapping it, yeah. and like in the dinner table, I was memorizing it. I didn't talk to anybody. I was just so rapping all the way. We are both going through our own experiences of trying to get these bars in our minds, yeah. like trying to lock it down so we don't mess up, right? Yeah. So we went there. We, we finally got to the got to the, the, to set. the set and then after that um, we did sound check <laughs> and uh, I, was, I, w I went second then I went and then I realized that the beat was opposite even though it's the same BPM so that, but that the beat two beats yeah. what he practiced was like this one first and this one second yeah we go on set and they tell us that it's the it's, opposite it's, it's, it's the opposite so and I was like he's like you know what it's okay oh, I'll do it I'll just uh, it's okay bro <laughs> Bro, yeah. I can do it, right? And I was like, bro, okay, do just it. do it, man. I'll yeah, do it. You do it. You, Singapore, you, represent. You, you, can, bro, you can always do it, can, right? We can, bro. Right, we'll we do always do it now. Say, all right. Bro, rap, 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 rap. And then suddenly the beat just extended. Like, it just went it on. It didn't stop. It didn't stop. So what we thought was 16 bars was actually only 8. <laughs> yeah. On that beat. 
Yeah. It was 120 BPM. And then we so were it's, like, it, it's a lot of confusion. Like, like 120 BPM can be mistaken for 60. And it's, it's the halftime thing. And so put that in the context of we're going to roll in the next 30 yeah. minutes and he's going second <laughs> and I got a flight to catch and come back to Singapore <laughs> and go straight to Club 36, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, it, it extended, I told the uh, DJ season. Uh, Malaysia DMC champion, sorry. Mm. Uh, he, I, I told him, sorry, sir, um, is it okay if we just cut the beat? Because actually, I thought it was just, you know, 16 bars. He said, oh, that's not 16 bars. They're like, uh, what I practiced was actually just this time. Please. It didn't work. <laughs> he tried, he tried. I, I tried to tell I him. I was there. And then was he was like, no, it's not. No, no, no. Then Joe came in and said, yeah, what's the problem? What's the problem? Please. And I'm like, uh, Joe, um, I, I only prepared this much, uh, so um, how, like, then he say, am I, you have backup bars? And I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, mm. I guess, yes. And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> like okay, through the phone. Phone. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, yep. I do, yeah, okay, yes, I do. <laughs> then he like, okay, keep rapping. Uh, then I rap, uh, rap, I had to squeeze my original uh, the one that he wrote, right? So imagine putting an 80 BPM flow into a 120 BPM flow. It's really, really, really fast. It's really fast and a lot of syllables for you. And it's to, Malay and English. So and, it's like, and Malay and English. And it was so difficult for me to remember. I just did it. Uh, so I just did it. Then he was like, okay, let's go. Let's go. That's 120 BPM. That's 16 bars. And then. Everybody ready? Okay. Yeah. He managed to do it. He managed to do it. Everybody was clapping. And I went, I went after him. Still there, I had to take my flight and and come back to Singapore. And then he stayed there for like a day more. And then uh, that was done, that was wrapped up, it was all good. And then after a while, we were like, okay, cool, let's just move on I with met, our lives. I met, and I met Joe that, that night itself. Yeah, they hung out and stuff. Then I was he, so jealous. He, I was like, God damn, why you get to. You get to hang out with Joe. <laughs> I have fly back. To it's Singapore. because of of uh, yeah. Shout out Chikashi. He was actually the one that actually yeah, drove us. Yeah, yeah, for so a, he he was the one that drove us there. He, they actually wanted to give us a flight, but do y'all drive back? Oh, we, drew, we drew back. Okay. Yeah, we had a nice three-hour conversation. That's good, man. Specifically talking about how bad Raja is as a rapper, you know, yeah, and how we will probably be better than him uh, forever. Yeah. It's okay, man. Dude, it's okay. You can try. Okay, next time. That's, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> but right. no, but uh, yeah, shout out Shigeshi. He was the one actually brought us there, and then we hung out with, with Joe after the was very night. Joe actually asked me something. Joe was like, "Are you happy with your bar?" Yeah, mm. I said it. Uh, I was like, "No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. I know I'm supposed to be proud of my work, but I'm not. Yeah. You know what happened." Blah blah blah. blah. I told him, and he's like, "Bro, you did it. All is done. Don't worry about it. Do it next time." Like, mm. okay. And we did. Well, once we were back in Singapore, we were trying to think of the next thing. He recorded his debut single. We came back. I recorded mine. All was going good. We even forgot that Namblas Baris is coming out soon. Yeah, then suddenly he was like, "Bro, four days to Namblas Baris." Maybe like, "Ah, uh, 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 just episode <laughs> So that was literally that was us, right? So we dropped, and then we were just like, I was in Bali, he was in Singapore, so we were FaceTiming each other. Bro, we're gonna watch it at the same time. Yes, press play. That I'm watching on my TV. He got his laptop, watching uh, Joe Flizz. It's like it was such an experience. Like, we're like. This is so cool. This is exactly what we wanted. We wanted to do stuff like this. And, and then so it was like just, it, went, it went the way we wanted it. Yeah, it to go. Yeah, we didn't have much expectations, but we just wanted to nail it down. You know, like it's like somebody gives you an opportunity, or like somebody gives you food when you're hungry. You, you know, like that kind of a gratitude. So we we had that. We were just so happy uh, that the whole thing happened. That was a full Namlas Baris experience. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, full. That was literally what. Honestly, happened. if everything went smoothly, you'd be totally boring. <laughs> and no way it, to worry, there's yeah. no way it can go smooth. Yeah. Yeah. It's another country, it's involving all these OGs and so much planning had to be done. And it was like last minute. <laughs> it was like three Anything days. Anything that could have went wrong, went wrong. Yeah. Yeah, but then it just somehow bloomed into a fruition. Now. God is good, bro. God is good. God is good. God, man, God is good. Mad, mad blessings. blessings. Mad, mad blessings. Mad, mad, zoom in to, to our faces. Mad blessings. Mad blessings. Mad. 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 Massive blessings. Massive. Massive blessings.